Yo, what's up, baby? This is Bert Watson, and you're listening to Radio MMA, because this is what they do and why they do it, baby, all night long, because they rolling hard, fast, and on the money. Okay, guys, welcome back to the radio show. Let's bring in Neil. How's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, it's been a while since we talked to you. Last time I talked to you was right after the reality show was done. Um, you're on quite a roll now, man. But how pissed were you last year not breaking the record for the most wins in a calendar year? You were damn close. <laughs> so, I mean, definitely felt, uh, it would have been great to break the record, but at the same time, I didn't want to take a fight last minute that wasn't going to benefit me and put me in a good position leading into 2015. So. Uh, I think my coach has played it smart by having me just sit out the rest of the year and wait for something good to come out for 2015. Okay, bro, seven wins in a row, going for eight this coming weekend. Do you have a little bit of confidence heading into this one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, definitely confidence at all-time high right now with the uh, seven fight win streak, but uh, keeping that in mind, I also know Damian Myers is a, uh, a very dangerous opponent. He's been around for a while. He's very experienced, so uh, I'm definitely prepared for a, a hard fight, and I'm just super excited to get it started. Okay, man, you got back-to-back -back performances of the night. Is another bonus on your mind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I try not to think about it too much, but it happens great, and I can put those bonuses to use, but uh, I mean, I just focus on, focus on going out there and giving the best performance that I can, and uh, hopefully it's another dominant one, and I get rewarded for it again. Yeah, for sure, man. Now, this fight with Damian Maya is huge for you, um, but what's it take to get on the main card? Like, I can't believe this fight is not on the pay-per-view. Yeah, I mean, there's so much bouncing around. I, mean, I, I was just talking to a friend about the same thing. Like, uh, initially it was, then it wasn't, then it was, now it isn't again. So, uh, it is kind of frustrating that it's not on the main card, but uh, on the same token, I just know I got, I got to go out there and put on a great fight and uh, kind of make him regret not putting it on the main card. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay. Like you said, Damian Maya is a staple of the UFC for years now. You finally get a really big name opponent that you deserve. Just talk about the matchup. Um, I think it's a great match. I mean, uh, he poses so many different threats and stuff, just from uh, how experienced he is in the cage. I mean, he's been in the UFC for so many years, and he's faced uh, the guys for, for the belt in the past at middleweight, and he's been a, a, a pretty good contender at 170 so far. So uh, this fight is definitely going to be a, a good one for me to really test myself and see where I stand as far as uh, potentially challenging for a title soon. Main event on your card is Beth versus Ronda. Who'd you like in the main event? Uh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go with the American for that one. <laughs> for your fight, what will be the keys to victory to get the win over Damien? Uh, the keys to victory are just be fighting my fight. Uh, one of the things that would work against him is the fact that uh, being around the sport for so long, he's uh, being a veteran, uh, he's an older guy because of that. I mean, And so I just have to make a young man's fight and push the pace and, and just try to dominate in their position if they can. You're headed back to Brazil. Talk about fighting there compared to other environments. <laughs> I'm kind of used to it now. I mean, I was even thinking getting dual citizenship in Brazil because I fight there so much, trying to save some money on taxes. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of used to it now. Uh, I, I know exactly where to go to eat. I know exactly how the crowd's going to react, things like that. So uh, it's not much of a pressure fighting in Brazil anymore. I don't have to worry about food poisoning because I know uh, what to eat and where to get it from and things like that. So. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get out there and, and put on the show. Somebody tells me I'm going to die. I kind of like get pissed off and shit. But when 10,000 people are chanting, <laughs> you're going to die, you're going to die. <laughs> like, what's that like? I mean, the best part about it is they're, they're chanting all that stuff in Portuguese. And I have no idea what they're saying anyway. For all I know, they're telling my name and uh, telling me to, to beat their guy. So I... I have no idea what they're saying. I just go out there and enjoy it now. I mean, uh, my first time in Brazil, I definitely that gets me, and I, I kind of was uh, listening to some people who speak Portuguese and were trying to translate what they're going to say beforehand, but right. in reality, I have no idea what they're saying. It's in Portuguese. I can't understand it anyway, so I'm just going to go out there and do my thing. If you get the win on Saturday, who are you calling out? Uh, <laughs> I definitely won't, probably won't call anyone, but I'm definitely going to make a statement and, and let it be known that there are four guys they're possibly fighting in December uh, for your tenorship and two others for the belt, possibly. And uh, I'm just letting everyone know that I'd be on edge either for a three-round fight or five-round fight, depending on what happens in, in December or leading up to December. 
So I'm just going to be on edge and ready to step in in the center if they need me to. Oh, hey, man, give me a prediction on the fight. Uh, I think this fight's going to be a, a long, grueling one, and I'm going to come out with a TKO in the end of the third round or lean to the third round. Appreciate you taking the time out for us. Anything you'd like to promote or throw at your social media? Uh, just uh, social media, guys. You can find me at Neil Magni on Twitter and uh, Neil Magni as well on Facebook. Oh, yay. Safe travels, my friend.